Okay, this is a slideshow I put together for the Orca Month 2009 at the Seattle Aquarium, sponsored by Orca Network and the Aquarium and a number of environmental organizations. The title is No Fish, No Blackfish. This is an anonymous prophecy spoken long ago. In the beginning, before 1976, there were fish in the millions and blackfish by the hundreds. I am a blackfish. I used to visit Puget Sound frequently in the summer. Eighty percent of my diet consists of Chinook salmon. I need them to survive. Some of my colleagues eat seals, but I cannot. My teeth are smaller. My jaws are weaker. You give us names and identification numbers like Ruffles or J1. You call our families J-Pod, K-Pod, or L-Pod. Our families swim past your cities. And we wave to your ships. People take pictures of us. That can be fun. But we'd rather chase fish. Our foraging range is large and critical to us. From Monterey Bay in the south to at least the Queen Charlotte Islands in the north. Our range overlaps the main migratory pattern of Chinook salmon migrating corridors bringing fish to and from the rivers of the Northwest and California and Oregon. You are here in Seattle. Most of the fish should be in the corridors on the west side of Vancouver Island and the coast. In Seattle, you have the least mixture of stocks and species. They're mostly Puget Sound fish. In the San Juans, you have a mixture of Puget Sound and Fraser fish. And then on the coast, you have a mixture from all the rivers up and down the coast. Where have they gone? The Chinook harvest over the years, just since we've been doing this study, 1976 to 2006, have been upwards of three and a half million fish a year in the beginning, down to less than a million in the mid-90s, and it's on its way back down now. You see on the right here the uh, distribution of the catch from the west coast of Vancouver Island Strait of Georgia, Strait of Juan de Fuca, San Juan, Puget Sound, Coastal Oregon, Washington, Columbia River, which was a big one in the past, the Klamath, and California, mostly Sacramento, San Joaquin. More than half of the stocks of Chinook salmon are now extinct or endangered by human activity. The ones in red are extinct, the ones in orange are at risk of extinction, the ones in yellow are a special concern, and the ones in green are low or no risk at this time, and the gray ones are status not determined. Virtually all of the Puget Sound natural Chinook are a fraction of their former abundance. Of 31 historical populations, nine are now extinct. of the Puget Sound Chinook populations. Uh, when we began the study, there were upwards of half a million Puget Sound fish. 
Uh, this graph depicts in the early years just the catches and in the more recent years the catches and the escapements showing the total biomass or bio number of Chinook salmon in the habitat. It's obviously declined. Coastwise, if you look carefully at this graph, you'll see that California provided a big contribution and the west coast of Vancouver Island also. Uh, we've got uh, Columbia River is another big producer at intervals, but all have been on sort of a downward decline. If this were the stock market, we'd be very concerned. And uh, upwards of three and a half million fish caught coastwide, and uh, less than a million in some years recently. This red line is the bottom line for the whale survival. They take just the southern resident orca population requires over half a million Chinook salmon in a year for feeding. This is our population graph since our study began in 1976. We've had uh, approaching in the uh, mid-90s, um, approaching 100 whales, and then we dropped drastically to 2001, and we've sort of been waffling around there in the 80s since then. The population was over 100 before the captures began in the 1960s. The numbers depicted there are just taking into account the removals but not the natural mortality, so there certainly were over 100, probably 112 to 120 in the 60s. California to British Columbia Chinook harvest in the 1900s was enormous. There were 7.5 million fish from the Columbia River alone. That's Chinook fish. Uh, beginning in 1932 until 1973 over 400 dams were constructed on the Columbia and that harvest as you can see the dark blue has uh, drastically diminished following the dam construction. Prior to the dams our family was more numerous and obviously so were the coastal Chinook life was fabulous. The recent coastwide U.S. Chinook population trends uh, have upwards of four million in some years. For example, 1989, three and a half million in 2004, but they obviously go up and down in cycles. Uh, this graph depicts all the populations between the Central Valley of California and Puget Sound, both catches and escapements. But now life is not so good. The alternative is even worse. But we're not going to dwell on that. On the bright side, we still visit Greater Puget Sound occasionally and sometimes we find fish. Unfortunately, the fish are toxic. It is said that some people wonder whether we are as smart as humans. We don't know the answer to that. Obviously, some people are very smart. But we do know that as a society, we're not as stupid. And we're a lot prettier.
only water, we create art. And jewels. And we jump for joy. And we look around at our habitat and the surrounding land. We enjoy the sunsets. So I ask of you, for the sake of all intelligent life on this planet, please stop taking all of the fish you can. Stop preventing the remaining fish to spawn. And please stop poisoning the water. This is our home. Your survival depends on a healthy marine environment, too. All things are connected. Thank you.